Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Busted. DOJ official Bruce Orr caught hiding wife's payments from Fusion GPS. The Fusion GPS used Justice Department official Bruce Orr's wife, who was hired to dig up dirt on then-candidate Donald Trump, to influence top government officials? If the answer is no, then why did the recently demoted Orr hide his wife's Fusion GPS compensation from ethics officials? The Daily, Ca the Daily Caller reports, Bruce Orr, the Department of Justice official who brought opposition research on President Donald Trump to the FBI, did not disclose that Fusion GPS, which performed that, that research at the Democrat National Committee's be, uh, behest, was paying his wife and did not obtain a conflict of interest waiver from his superiors at the Justice Department documents obtained by the Daily Caller News Foundation show. The omission may explain why Orr was demoted from his post as Associate Deputy Attorney General after the relationship between Fusion GPS and his wife emerged and Fusion founder Glenn Simpson acknowledged meeting with Orr now, willfully uh, falsifying government ethics forms can carry a penalty of jail time if convicted. Now, the Democratic National Committee, the DNC, hired Fusion GPS to gather and disseminate damning info about Trump, and they uh, in turn paid Nellie Orr, a former CIA employee with ex er, expertise in Russia, for an unknown role related to the dossier. Now, Bruce Orr then brought that information to the FBI kicking off a probe and media firestorm. Now, payments from Fusion GPS to Bruce Orr's family, funded by the DNC, have the appearance of a government for hire, i.e. Bri bribing a DOJ official to push the case, says the Daily Caller's Luke um, uh, Rezaic. Now, the Daily Car Caller has more as well. They went on to say that the money sweetened the pot for the Orr's, and it certainly made it easier for Fusion to get the dossier to be used before the court if they made that payment to Bruce or his wife, former judge and Texas GOP representative Louis Gomert told the Daily Caller News Foundation. Now Fusion had to be had have known that because of the relationship between Bruce Orr and his wife, they were bringing uh, Fusion, the DOJ, and the DNC together under one roof to work for the same goal, which was to stop Donald Trump from becoming president, he said. Now, the financial arrangement between Ms. Orr and Fusion GPS gives the, G, yeah, GPS gives the appearance of government for hire, said Tom Anderson, an ethics expert at the conservative-leaning watchdog group, the National Legal and Policy Center. He says it appears to be a sophisticated scheme to get access to the highest levels of our government, ensuring the use of government resources in an attempt to influence an election. Now, Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton said more attention should be paid to Bruce Orr in relation to the dossier drama. The fact that the Senate Intelligence Committee is bringing in Bruce Orr, this Justice Department official involved with Fusion GPS and Clinton dossier, shows you where the collusion scandal is, Fitton told OANN's John Hines last December. It says it's with the Clinton campaign, the DNC, the FBI, the Justice Department, said Fitton, before asking how did they use the, the, this dossier. How did they use this dossier? Was Mueller using this dossier? Was it used to justify to a court to get warrants to spy on Trump and his team? That's the collusion, added Fitton. Bruce Orr is the first indication that we have that just have that the Justice Department was involved in this dossier that's been so controversial. Now, Fusion GPS co-founder Glenn Simpson recent, recently admitted in a court document that his firm hired Nellie Orr the wife of Bruce Orr to investigate then candidate Donald Trump. Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.